Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. What, I'm got, what I have here in front of me is a 2010 GMC Sierra. This thing is hammered. I have a customer of mine. I take care of four of his private vehicles. I also take another, I take, well, four of his private vehicles and one for his daughter. That's five vehicles a month that I do for them monthly. My customer called me up. He's a local business owner. He's got this 2010 GMC Sierra. It's, it's hammered. It needs a lot of work. I got to detail this thing. Well, first I got to clean it, which is totally different than detailing. But I'm going to do a bunch of series of videos on this truck, and I'll tell you why. I got a lot of people asking me, Scott, I liked your videos on Super Clean. How does Super Clean work against Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner? Well, we're going to get into that with this video, with these series of videos on this truck. But let me pull you in on this thing. The tires are pretty hammered, pretty nasty looking. They haven't been cleaned in a long time. The wheel wells are pretty nasty and dirty. I got to get in there and clean them. So what I'm going to use, instead of using Meguiar's Super Degreaser or All Purpose Cleaner Diluted 4 to 1, I'm going to use Super Clean. But we're also going to do some competition here. We're going to see how Meguiar's All Purpose Cleaner kind of works against or stands up against Super Clean. And we're going to do a bunch of stuff like that. It'll be fun. But let me open up this door here. This truck, to me, this is hammered. This is gross. This, this, this customer of mine owns a local business about four miles from my home. So this morning, well, the other day he called me about it and he asked me, hey, Scott, I've got a 2010 GMC Sierra. My employees use it. He's a local business owner, owns an automotive uh, shop in town. Again, I take care of four or five of his own personal vehicles. But this is a vehicle his employees drive around in, right? Nobody takes care of it. They do local deliveries with it. It's completely hammered. This thing is, hopefully the lighting is good on this thing. This thing is gross. I'll try to get some some better pictures where the light is a little bit better. But there's dust all over this thing, grease and grime. These seats are kind of a black, dull, black colored fabric. I'm gonna try to clean them. It's got a lot of dirt and debris in that. I'm gonna use super clean on that. Maybe I'll do one seat and super clean. I'll do the other seat in McGuire's all-purpose cleaner. See how they stack up against one another. Here's the door panel on this thing. This stuff, these are, these are mechanics just jumping in this vehicle, touching this thing. There's all sorts of grease and grime on it. It's disgusting. This thing needs a lot of work. I got to get in there and scrub these floor mats, get the floor mats out. There's no carpet in this truck. This is kind of like an economy level, entry level work truck. It's got rubber floors on it, but I got to clean all that up. I got to get, this is just disgusting. These door jams are gross. The little kick plate here for the entry, whatever you want to call it, needs to be cleaned. The truck is hammered. It's got dirt all over it. I got to wash it, clay it. But this is what I'm going to do to this truck. I'm going to work on this thing and make a couple of different videos about it. Here's the engine bay. We're going to clean the engine bay on this thing. This thing is nasty, gross. This thing hasn't been cleaned in years. I think for a 2010, the way this engine bay looks, it's never been cleaned. So we're going to use Super Clean inside this engine bay and see how it comes out. I'm going to use it four to one. And whenever I compete against Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, which is a professional product, I'm also going to dilute it four to one. That sounds a little unfair, right? But let's see what Super Clean can do. This hood, underneath this hood, this is just some nasty stuff. I got to get it all off. There's my vehicle. Don't worry about that one. That one looks pretty good, don't it? <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to clean this thing up with Super Clean, do some competition with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, see how they stack up against one another. The other thing I'm going to do with this truck is, here's the inside of the truck on this side. I got to get the little carrier thing out of it, whatever that Coke little carry case is. I got to get it all out of there. Got to get the floor mats out, clean it. Got to clean the door panels. Here's some more grease and grime from his employees, right? I'm standing in the way. Sorry, guys. I'm blocking the light. But I got to clean that up. Here's the truck itself. The truck itself, you know, for a 2010, guess how many miles this thing has? 310,000 miles. That's right. 310,000 miles. This thing has been 
all over North Texas delivering auto parts. That's why it's greasy and grimy. But what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to obviously clean it. Then I'm going to detail the inside of it. We're going to make a bunch of different videos about that. We're going to clean that engine bay. Here's what my customer's thinking. Hey, Scott, he said to me earlier this week, I said, well, I can get to it on Saturday. I don't have much going on. It's Technically, I try to take one day off during a week. Maybe it's Saturday or maybe it's Sunday. But Saturday, I chose this day to be my day off. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I've, we all got to remember our mothers, right? By the way, my mother just got out of the hospital. She had some heart issues. If you guys don't mind sending a little bit of love to my mother, that would be great. That would be greatly appreciated. She would love it. But she's doing okay. She's home now. But we, we got to worry about our mothers, right? But here's the deal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an engine bay cleaning with Super Clean only and see how it works. Going to work on the inside. Going to use a lot of Super Clean and do some competition with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. The outside of this vehicle I am going to wash. I'm going to clay it. And then I'm going to do a one-step correction on it. Now, the one step I'm going to choose to use, if you just watched my silly video about Turtle Wax and Meguiar's, the little competition I had on a retail level, I'm actually going to use Meguiar's Ultimate Compound on this paint. It's not, all, it's not overly aggressive, although I was very impressed with it. It's a silver truck. I'm going to do a one-step with Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, a retail product, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over it. Maybe I'll go over with HD Speed real fast, or maybe I'll use Menzerner's Power Lock sealant on it. But basically, everything I'm gonna do to this truck, from doing the inside, the engine bay, cleaning it, washing it, claying it, and then doing the one step on it. For me, this is a six hour moment. Could be a little bit longer. Again, I brought the vehicle back to my house because the guy's only about four miles away, so I said, listen, bring it to me, and we'll work at it at my house. I'll go at my own pace. It's my day off. I'm not going to go crazy with it. He doesn't need it back till Monday, but that's fine. But for me, if this was, you know, this is a six-hour moment for me. And for some of you beginners, you might be asking, well, Scott, what do you charge? Because some of you have been asking me, do you charge by the hour? Do you have packages? Well, for this customer here, again, he's a good customer of mine. I'm doing four or five of his vehicles every month. That's right. Each car of his gets detailed. They're private cars of his. They're not, they're not his business trucks. They're not his business cars. His employees don't get their hands on it. But he's a good customer. But this is what I quoted the gentleman to do a six-hour job on this car or on this truck. I told him anywhere from $400 to $450. That's what I told him. Why? Because I'm going to spend six hours on it. I'm not only cleaning it, I'm going to detail the inside of it. I'm going to do a one-step correction, if that's what you want to call it, even though I'm going to use a retail product. I'm just interested to see what it does. I was very impressed with it in the competition against Turtle Wax. But still, this is a six-hour moment for me. And that's what I'm going to charge them, somewhere between four dollars to $450. It's just a two-door pickup truck, but it's got 310,000 miles on it. Has not been cleaned, detailed, I don't think, in those whole, well, what is it, seven years old? So it hasn't been taken care of in the last seven years. I think they've driven it through the car wash a couple of times just to keep it somewhat presentable when they pull up to one of their customers' locations to drop off parts but we've got a lot of work to do i want to dial in these these uh chrome bumpers some plastic needs to be i'm not going to be doing any restoration or any permanent restoration or putting any coatings on it but i want to make these plastic pop want to want to get the chrome looking good the paint looking good the engine looking good i'm also going to polish the glass i'm going to wash it i'm going to clay it and then i'm just now, I'm probably going to use Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, the same compound on a retail level that I'm going to do on the paint, I'm going to do on the windows just to clean it up. Since I'm already going to be doing the paint, it's going to mean nothing to me. It's going to be nothing to me for me to hit it with a DA and compound and just clean up those windows, get some clarity back to them. Again, it's a six-hour moment. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to ex exclusively only use Super Clean on the inside of this thing. 
or Meguiar's when we're doing a competition or a shootout between the two products. So there's going to be a bunch of videos about this truck. I'm just going to have fun with it on Saturday. They've got some stuff in the back of it. I think they put logs or, well, I don't think. I, there's logs in the back of the truck. And I asked them about it. I said, why do you put the logs in the back? I guess to put more weight in the back of this truck. This truck's a little bouncy on the road, so they wanted to put some weight in it. So that's how they decided to fix that in their world. But I'm not going to do anything with inside the bed. I'm going to only work on the outside and on the inside of the vehicle and the engine bay. What they do with those logs is their business. That's not mine, so we've already talked about that. But my customer basically has two options after I get done with this truck. He may keep it, or if it looks really good, get it back on its feet, he may sell it. He's interested in possibly getting another delivery truck for his business, but before he gets one, he wants to see what this truck's going to look like. He wants to see, he certainly doesn't want to sell it in this condition, so what he wants to do is dial it in, and if it looks great and he can get a nice buck for it and it helps him offset the cost a little bit with getting a new delivery truck, that's what he wants to do. So that's my, that's my challenge with this truck, and that's what we're going to do with it. We're going to dial it in so he gets an opportunity to you know, maybe get a little bit more for it on the open market. So that's the challenge for me. Let's see what I can do. Again, this is going to be a long series of videos. I'm not going to kill you with 30 minute videos for, you know, for each step. We'll just do small little steps all along the way. Hopefully that interests you guys. Again, it's a 2010 GMC Sierra. Got 310,000 miles. When I drove it, I was pretty impressed with it. The engine sounds good. It drives great. It looks, it needs a lot of work, but, uh, you know, basically after that, it's a pretty cool truck. So if you happen to be in the Dallas area, you know, and you're looking for a nice truck, maybe when I get this thing done, you'll say, hey, tell that guy I'm interested in buying it. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll make some videos for you. We'll get some extreme stuff going on. This is really dirty and nasty. Let's see what Super Clean can do. I appreciate it. Till next time, love one another. Be kind to one another. Remember, today's Saturday. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Remember your mothers and give a give a little uh, give a little shout out to my mom and tell her to just tell her you're thinking about her. Say say a kind word inside your own little heart and wish her well on her recovery. I appreciate it, guys. Until next time, be safe.